Step into the world of Lawman, a TV series filled with humor, surprises, and moments that tug at your heartstrings. Get ready for an exciting journey. Airing in 1958, this show tells a gripping story set in the Wild West. Its realistic portrayal and interesting characters kept viewers glued to the screen. As you watch the episodes, you'll be drawn into the lives of lawmen, outlaws, and everyone else. Among the gunfights and twists, there are also heartwarming scenes and surprises. Do you have a favorite moment or character from the show? Share your stories and memories with us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Stay tuned for more insights into this timeless Western drama. There's always something new to discover. Keep watching and share your thoughts with us. The 1958 TV series Lawman had a big effect on how people saw things during that time. It was made by Roy Huggins, who made a lot of TV shows. Lawman was about Marshall Band Troop keeping the peace in the town of Laramie. People really liked the show because it showed the Old West in a real way and told good stories. They especially liked John Russell, who played Marshall Troop. Lawman was really popular when it first aired, showing that people really liked it, and it became a regular thing people watched. Lawman wasn't just a TV show. It also inspired things like toys and clothes, which people bought because they liked the show so much. And because it did so well, there were other shows and movies made that were related to it. One thing that happened because of Lawman was a radio version of the show. This let even more people hear the stories, showing how much people still liked it, even when they couldn't watch it on TV. Lawman stayed important even after it finished airing. It influenced other Western shows and movies that came after it. Its way of showing the Old West and its characters stayed with people and made Westerns stay popular. So, Lawman was really important in how people saw Westerns on TV and in movies. And it inspired a lot of other things too. Set in the Old West, this series brought to life the tales of the Lawman Dan Troop and his encounters at the Birdcage Saloon. Jake, portrayed by Dan Sheridan, manned the bar at the saloon with his last name, Summers, mentioned only once throughout the series. Alongside Dan, Oni O'Reilly, played by an actor younger than his on-screen counterpart Johnny McKay, added depth to the narrative. Despite being 37 at the time, John Russell, who embodied Dan Troop, took steps to appear older, believing Troop's experience warranted a more mature demeanor. Russell's efforts included streaking gray through his hair and modulating his voice, presenting Troop as a seasoned lawman with years of wisdom. The series delved into the challenges of maintaining order in a rugged frontier town, showcasing the complexities of justice in the Wild West. Throughout its run, the series showcased the rugged terrain and colder climate of Laramie, Wyoming, with characters often bundled in heavy coats to combat the chilly weather. This authenticity set it apart from similar shows like The Virginian or Laramie, which portrayed warmer conditions and lighter attire. Season 2 saw Dan and Johnny facing numerous injuries and gun battles. Dan endured three injuries and four gunshot wounds, while Johnny suffered six injuries and three gunshot wounds. Dan's peculiar mishaps included getting caught in a wolf trap and being bitten by a child. Remarkably, Dan and Johnny collectively dispatched 22 adversaries in one episode to capture the West. In season one, Dan faced six injuries and two gunshot wounds, with Johnny sustaining four injuries but avoiding gunfire. Notably, Dan's misfortunes ranged from bear maulings to being struck by a makeshift wagon jack. Together, they dispatched five foes in a single episode of the gang. With its gritty realism and action-packed narratives, Lawman captivated audiences with its portrayal of frontier justice in the Wild West. Peter Brown, the last surviving main cast member of the series until his passing in March 2016, starred in Lawman alongside John Russell and Peggy Castle. Russell passed away in January 1991, while Castle died in August 1973. Unlike other Warner Brothers westerns of its time, Lawman did not feature crossovers from stars of other shows. In the second season, Peggy Castle joined the cast as Lily Merrill, a saloon owner. Throughout the final three seasons, her character's relationship with the protagonist bore similarities to that of Marshall Matt Dillon and Miss Kitty Russell from Gunsmoke. In the TV series, Emery Purnell played the bartender, and he was really good at acting in different ways. But sadly, none of the main actors are alive now. Peter Brown died in March 2016, John Russell in January 1991, and Peggy Castle in August 1973. Dan's brother Clay was played by James Drury. These actors did a great job in bringing their characters to life and making the show memorable. Amidst the rugged tales of the West, the TV show Lawman unraveled a story filled with surprises, shattered by Johnny's ongoing struggle with his role as a deputy. He made three departures from his duty-bound position. 
The first time he left because he suspected his biological father might have been a criminal. The second time, there was a rift when he thought his boss Dan was trying to take credit for something he did. The final time, he quit after shooting a childhood friend, questioning his ability to uphold the law. John Russell, the actor who played Dan Troop, drew inspiration from his time in the U.S. Marines, which made Troop's character more authentic due to Russell's military experience. Beyond the TV show, Lawman also became a comic book series. Eleven comics, released between 1958 and 1962, brought Troop and Johnny's adventures to a new audience, capturing the essence of the TV show in a different format. In the harsh landscapes of the Old West, the challenges of duty, loyalty, and personal turmoil unfolded in Loman, leaving an impression not just on TV, but also in the comics that echoed its stories. Johnny's parents met a tragic end when he was just 10 years old. Raised by two family friends he fondly called uncles, portrayed by Edgar Buchanan and Frank Ferguson, Johnny found solace and guidance in their care. The series credits reveal a subtle nod to its origins, with one writer listed under the pseudonym W. Hermanos, a clever disguise for recycled scripts from another series, a Spanish twist on Warner Brothers' name. As the 1960s ushered in the peak of television westerns, a notable magazine sponsored a contest for actors embodying western heroes and villains. This contest, focusing on the quintessential quick-draw shootout, drew many cowboy stars to test their skill. Amidst the competition, Peter Brown emerged victorious, earning the title of the fastest gun in Hollywood. His triumph echoed through the annals of Western lore, cementing his place among the genre's legends. In a bid to draw in more female viewers, the producers implemented a strategy in season two. They had Peter Brown leave his shirt unbuttoned, adding a touch of allure to his character. As the series progressed into its third season, Warner Brothers opted to tone down the violence. Instead of outright killing the antagonist, Dan and Johnny would shoot them, but only to wound, reflecting a shift towards less graphic content. Interestingly, Adam West made multiple appearances as Doc Holliday across various shows, including Lawman. However, his portrayal of the character extended beyond just this series. West also depicted Doc Holliday in episodes of Sugarfoot and Colt 45. These adjustments in character portrayal and storytelling reflect the dynamic nature of the series, adapting to audience preferences and network standards while maintaining its core themes and characters. In the series, the same sound effect was consistently used whenever a character fell, regardless of the circumstances. Throughout season three, the main character Dan sustained five injuries and was shot four times, with one particularly notable injury to his gun hand, forcing him to shoot left-handed. His partner Johnny experienced five injuries, but was not shot. Dan was responsible for injuring two individuals and killing 22, while Johnny injured three and killed five. The episode The Escape of Joe Kilmer saw the highest number of kills by Dan and Johnny, totaling four. Despite efforts to reduce violence, the overall numbers remain consistent between seasons two and three. Additionally, during the series beginning, Dan and Johnny had a pet cat in their office, which disappeared without explanation during season one. In an episode of another series, John Russell portrayed a retired gunfighter confronted by the hero, who tried to dissuade him from a shootout after learning of his shooting hand's disability. Later, in a similar storyline within Lawman, Russell took on the role of the hero attempting to prevent the gunfighter from engaging in a fatal duel with a widow's son who challenged him for rightful money. Throughout the fourth season, Dan suffered two injuries and endured three gunshot wounds, while Johnny encountered seven injuries, none from gunfire. Dan also inflicted harm, shooting and injuring 11 individuals and fatally shooting 19. Johnny's tally included five injuries inflicted and nine fatal shootings. Among Dan's unusual incidents was falling into a hole, and the most fatalities in a single episode five occurred in the cold one, where Lily also contributed one death. Lily herself was shot in the juror. In the tough world of 1950s TV, there's a sad story behind Lawman. During filming, one of the actors, John Russell, went through a really hard time when his son died suddenly. It made everyone on set feel really sad. But even though it was tough, Russell kept going, showing how strong people can be when bad things happen. This sad moment became a big part of the show and how everyone remembers it. In a surprising turn of events, one of the main actors from the series experienced a tragic accident on set. During the filming of a particularly intense scene, he fell from a horse and sustained severe injuries, halting production for several weeks. The series delves deeply into the intricacies of law enforcement in the Old West, portraying the challenges faced by lawmen as they strive to maintain order and uphold justice amidst the rough and tumble frontier life. 
Throughout its runtime, Lawman captivated audiences with its gritty portrayal of law enforcement, depicting the harsh realities of crime and punishment in the Wild West era. The show's commitment to authenticity and attention to detail earned it praise from viewers and critics alike. The characters in Lawman are richly developed, each with their own motivations and flaws. From the stoic sheriff to the wily outlaw, every character is portrayed with nuance and depth, adding layers of complexity to the show's narrative. Despite its tragic moments, Lawman also offers glimpses of hope and redemption, showcasing the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Through its compelling storytelling and memorable characters, the series leaves a lasting impression on all who watch it. In a surprising twist, one of the actors from the 1958 TV series faced a sad fate off-screen. The actor, known for his role in the show, later dealt with legal issues that led to a difficult personal life marked by addiction and money problems. This was quite different from the law-abiding characters he played on the screen. The series explored the tough world of law enforcement in the Wild West, where the main character, played by John Russell, faced the challenges of keeping order in a chaotic frontier town. With its gritty take on justice and morality, the show captured viewers' attention, offering a peek into the complexities of life on the edge of civilization. Despite facing problems like production issues and changes in the cast, the 1958 TV series Lawman remained popular. It held on to its audience with engaging storytelling and an authentic portrayal of the Old West. Over its run, Lawman left a lasting impression on TV, securing its spot among Western classics. Its impact continues connecting with audiences even today, showcasing the lasting appeal of frontier stories. During its production, Lawman faced a sorrowful incident when one of its lead actors unexpectedly passed away. John Russell, portraying Marshal Dan Troop, tragically suffered a heart attack on set. His sudden death deeply impacted the cast and crew, leaving them in shock and mourning the loss of a valued colleague. Despite the sadness that enveloped the production, Lawman continued, albeit with a noticeable absence felt by all who worked on the show. Russell's contribution to the series and his portrayal of Marshall Troop remain a significant part of Lawman's history, commemorated by fans and colleagues alike. In an unexpected twist, a sad event occurred during the making of the 1958 TV series. One of the main actors sadly passed away, causing shockwaves among the crew and audience. This sudden loss not only created a gap in the story, but also brought challenges for the production team. They had to quickly make changes to the plot and characters to cope with the unforeseen situation. The impact of this loss extended beyond the set, affecting viewers who had grown fond of the character played by the departed actor. The absence was strongly felt casting a shadow over later episodes and serving as a sad reminder of how fragile life can be. Looking back, this sad event highlights the unpredictable nature of the entertainment industry and the significant role individuals play in a shared story. Despite the sorrow, the series continued, showing the resilience of its creators and honoring the contributions of those involved.